This is something we talk about all of the time. Uh, we saw last week Morgan Stanley announced it was buying uh, Eaton Vance uh, a week after closing the E-Trade deal. It was quite a, quite a, 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 roller, uh, quite a move for Morgan Stanley, rather aggressive. Uh, I guess, and I'm going to throw this out to all three of you. You're, you're all involved in this industry. Um, people kept messaging, why is this deal happening? And I, I kept saying, one, we're actively managed funds are losing clients that are out there. Number two, ETFs are putting downward fee pressure on the overall industry, and that's pushing people towards more consolidation. And finally, to survive, funds need to get more assets under management. It's, it's quite simple. Um, I wonder... Um, Todd, you're an observer of this business. Um, are we going to see we're, we're, the, the number of uh, e, -comp, e trade, uh, you know, online brokers is pretty small already. I don't know how much consolidation we're going to have anymore in that area, but there's still some financial services firms that are out there. Do you anticipate more consolidation and why? So we do. We think there's going to be more consolidation among the asset managers for the reasons you touched on. Scale wins. You need to be able to compete at a, a aggressive enough price to get investor attention. At some point, the asset managers are going to need to lower their fees for mutual funds in order to realize that money is shifting towards ETFs. But what's interesting to me about this deal uh, of Eaton Vance is Eaton Vance does not have an ETF presence. This is an ETF show. You would think uh, that they would want to be a part of the growing party of $5 trillion and counting of ETF assets. Eaton Vance doesn't have exposure to that. Morgan Stanley doesn't have exposure to it. The sweet spot for Eaton Vance is twofold. They've got ESG-oriented mutual funds through Calvert, and they've got municipal bond mutual funds that are held more by mom-and-pop investors that are relatively loyal. But it's a bit surprising that Morgan Stanley is, is just not going where the puck is, is headed uh, towards the ETF industry. Why, why do you think that is, uh Todd or, 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 or Ed or, or Simeon, do you, do you think I was, it, Bob, it's I was, a tactical error gonna, on their part? Well, I, I was going to give them one more piece of credit. I think parametric could be a little bit of an interesting piece of this puzzle, too. I'll be curious to see how they can scale that, because that's a nice little differentiated business, even though it's housed in you know a legacy mutual fund complex. And that's always been a nice uh, offering on uh, on. Uh, mm mass affluent and high net worth platforms. So that, that might be yeah. a little bit of hidden, mm -hmm. hidden opportunity for them to scale that up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Good point. And Bob, I'll um, add we're, we're, that, oh, I'm sorry, you just don't need ETFs now if you're Morgan Stanley. If you think about it, the shops that might get eaten up to create assets for them, like an Eaton Vance that didn't have them. But as you go forward, a shop like Morgan Stanley would have the ability to launch ETFs when they want because they have a natural distribution arm, whereas someone like Eaton Vance, who they bought, yeah. doesn't. And so it can create and, and a And why platform. haven't they done that already? I mean, J.P. Morgan did it. Schwab did it. Why, why is Morgan Stanley sort of ignoring this? I mean, who, you know, I would say that, you know, as you go with those big companies, there's a lot of hurdles to get through to launch any new product and any new structure type. And I think it's yeah. just a time for them just to get through all of their hurdles to make sure that they check all the boxes. Who knows? Yeah. But... I suspect you're going to see not just companies like Morgan Stanley, but a lot more firms launching ETFs that haven't in the next five years than you saw in the past five years.